Now we're going to record vocals. So we're going to see three things and maybe four. The first one is how to make the connections. The second is the software setup. And the third is going to be the actual recording. And maybe the fourth is going to be some tricks for the recording. Okay? So let's begin with the connections. The first thing you're going to need is a microphone. The microphone is going to be connected with a cable to the recording interface. In this case, it's a Tascam US1800. Uh, it's a big one, has a lot of channels. You just need one or two channels to record. You don't need any more. If you are going to record bands live or something like that, well, you can think in a bigger thing. But with one or two channels is more than enough. Then the interface is connected to the computer. In this case, it's USB connected. You connect the interface to the computer using the USB cable. First of all, you put the volume all the way down in your interface. Then you take one end of the cable and you connect it to the interface. And you make sure that it's well connected. Now, this is a trick on how to place your microphone when you don't have a shock mount microphone stand. Then you connect the other end of the cable to your microphone. Last, you turn on the phantom power in your interface and you see that your light is on. And you position it in the way you're gonna need it. In this case, I am gonna sing, that's why I have it right there. Depending on what you're gonna sing, for example, if you're gonna sing a song that is only a guitar and a really clean voice, you should do something about the environment. The microphone is gonna catch the environment too. So. If it's a room like this, it's a simple room, you are gonna hear a lot of sounds. In this case, I have the AC on, I have a, a fan on, and the room itself, it can be heard. If it's something really soft that you're gonna record, you're gonna need to do something about it. For example, you can put on a towel on top of everything. On top of you, on top of the microphone. This way, the sound is not gonna bounce in the walls and come back to the microphone. So you can hear only the sound that is going and not the reverberation of the room. So if you put a towel on top of the microphone and on top of you, the sound that is going to be recorded is just the one inside the towel and that's really good for some occasion in this case i'm not going to do that because i have uh, a rock band sound in the background so the reverberation is not going to be heard at all so i don't need it now your computer have to recognize that you are going to be recording i have this second channel already set up for recording but I'll show you how to do it this audio one channel in this where it says in and out this is in and out you have usually it says no input like all the others so you choose the input in here it says interface and that's my interface the US1800 so I'm gonna choose make in one because that's where I connected my microphone then if you wanna hear you click in here where it says track input monitor you heard the difference in the sound yes okay you can put in here some effect in this case I'm gonna use a reverb but not this one but the one in the mixer in the mixer, my recommendation. In here, look for a plugin 
that is EQ EQ 7 band mono okay and then in here you look for a preset that is gonna be vocals in this case mailbox 7 band okay and that's the change you see it changed a little bit if I bypass it this is the sound if I put it on this is the other sound okay usually use what is in the presets is really good and then in bus you have bus one and two this one bus one okay this is the reverb reverb okay i'm gonna use some reverb not that much no 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 this is good this is good and in here you have bus three and four. This is delay. 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 Well, well, I put it on later. Later. later, just to understand perfectly what I'm singing. Now you're ready to record the vocals. Okay, so let's close this, minimize this and we're going to record in here okay you see in the last video what I did well I uh, wrote some lyrics so I know that I'm gonna need more of this okay so I let's select this alt and Duplicate. Okay, something's wrong. Okay, uh, it should be grid in here. So if it says grid, it's gonna move one by one. So I need four. Now I am ready to record. Okay, let's move this up. So you can hear it. Okay. I'm gonna put it to play from here. <clears throat> and I hope I can sing in the right way. Let's try. Now, uh, it should be record enable. Now it's record enable. And let's record now. Uh, no, 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 no. Should be normal. Ready? Record enable. From here. Play. I don't know if I'd have a chance to meet you one more time just to see your smile. You don't know what it means to me. Feel your tender lips with a little kiss Hey, hey, I love you Baby, I love you Hey, hey, I love you Baby, I love you Okay, now we did it Let's hear it now I don't know if I'd have a chance To meet you one more time just to see your smile You don't know what it means to me To feel your tender lips with a little kiss Hey, hey, I love you Baby, I love you Hey, hey, I love you Baby, I love you. This is fine, but I don't like it that much. Why? Because it needs more vocals, especially in the chorus. Hey, hey, I love you. It needs more vocals. So let's enable another one, another channel. This is the other channel, the other channel, channel number two. Okay, so in channel number two, we're gonna put it up close to the other one. 
this is already selected the interface and everything you see the the sound is different and why uh, because of this equalization let's change it to the other one vocals mailbox seven band oh, okay you can hear s some hiss I don't know which one is it well we'll find out later okay now what we're gonna do is another hey hey okay we're gonna record from here Play your tender lips with a little kiss hey hey I love you oh, baby I love you hey Okay, this sounds a little better to me, I don't know. The lips with a little kiss. Hey, hey, I love you. Oh, baby, I love you. Hey, hey, I love you. Oh, baby, I love you. Sounds a lot better to me. But I want one more. So, in this case, where it says Audio 2, you just right-click in here and duplicate. It says number of duplicates, one, because I just want one more. Active Playlist, you take it out because you're going to record one more in here, so you don't need the Active Playlist. But the automation and the inserts and everything is OK. You click OK and now you have your duplicate that is this one and then you see you have everything set up already so we're gonna record in here the other one uh, record enable record enable here play Tender lips with a little kiss. Hey, hey, I love you. Oh, baby, I love you. Hey, hey, I love you. Oh, baby, I love you. I like it a lot more now. And I'm gonna teach you now what to do with those channels. What we're gonna do now is going to the mix window these are the audio 2 and now you duplicate so this one is gonna turn one side and this one to the other side depending okay let's show you live show you when it's playing okay while it's playing uh, Aki this one let's put a loop and play hey hey I love you now oh, baby I love you hey hey I love you oh, baby I love you this hey hey I love you oh, Baby, I love you Hey, hey okay. I love you Now you can hear in one side oh, Baby, I love you And the other one Hey, hey I love you So this is left oh, Baby, this I love right. you This is central hey, hey. Now you baby, can see what we did you. The main hey, voice, hey, and then I love you. the other two in the chorus. Oh, baby, I love you. Hey, so you have I all everything until now. Well, next step is gonna be recording an electric guitar 
or uh, an acoustic guitar. But that's going to be next video. I hope you like it and keep following me. Bye.